Hey everybody, this is Kevin from TSGG. We're coming at you with the Microsoft press conference, another special event. So with us today, we have Kaylee, Brennan, Jake, and Brett. What's going on, guys? Hello. Great to I'm be back. here. Did you miss me? Anthem. Nobody else did. Anthem, Anthem, Anthem. Not yet. <laughs> it wasn't on the Microsoft stage, so I can't talk about it. That's true. Oh, so God. everything Microsoft, a two-hour press conference. Mm. Greatest ever. Phil Spencer comes out. So far. Confirmed. And says, 50 games. Goat. 50 games will be shown. And they started out with a preview for their new Halo game, which is Halo Infinite. And it's powered by a brand new engine by 343 Productions. The Slip Space engine. Slip Space, So yeah. specifically for this game, mm -hmm. you think? Yeah. Get hyped Most now. likely, but we can't really I state mean, it that. it was its debut, so... Yeah, it was very shiny game. and pretty. Tasty. Very, very shiny. Delicious. Beautiful. Whole new music as well, we noticed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not the Halo that we're used not to. Not the him. Opera Definitely theme, not. So. <clears throat> Opera. Uh, Phil came out and he talked about Halo Infinite a little bit. And he said that you're going to join Master Chief on his greatest adventure. Largest ever large or live audience. And the, uh, the fan fest. Yeah. Group joining them. Oh, yeah. They're 100% of their proceeds went to the gaming outreach charity that Microsoft has established. Yeah, that was fantastic. And he's, Very cool to hear about. Yeah, it was. That's a great work that Microsoft does for the communities. And they said, Phil also said that they he and his team traveled the world meeting developers to get deals. And they were able to secure five more game studios that are exclusive and now owned by Microsoft Studios. So... They're really coming at us with a force saying that their games will matter in the future. Right. And most of what we're going to talk about today is coming out this year or next year with most likely inevitable pushbacks. But everything is slated for this year and next year. So that's also a very positive thing. So. Uh, a little side note for Kevin's 50 games. Uh, also 18 of those were Xbox exclusive. Uh, exclusive, well, Xbox, PC, given same right, company. yeah, they're like same thing. And then, uh, so. fifteen were world premieres. Yeah, they premiered fifteen titles unseen by anybody, and they did it, saying that most of the games were also able to be pre-ordered through the Xbox Store. And we have to talk about Game Pass. If you're going to bring that up, just because yeah. they've now announced that every Microsoft Studios game is going to be day one. On on release, it's going to be on their Game Pass as well. Which is a great thing. Uh, they talked about, and they're changing their Game Pass model a little bit by including these day one games, and they're adding, did they say two or one, at least one game a month they're putting into the library as well? Just monthly. They just mentioned that they were going to be adding monthly games. They didn't say how many or specific types, but they did add the three today, Elder Scrolls Oblivion, no, uh, no, that was Elder yeah, Scrolls so Online, online so Tamriel Unlimited. Unlimited. Right. Which wow. is Ashley like Speaker title. came out, that or Spiker. Whole Ashley lot Spiker came out of the head of engineering. Time. Yeah, she well, came you out. deserved it for that. <laughs> Elder Scrolls Online. Fallout 4. Elder Scrolls Online. And what was the last one? The Division. The Division. Yeah. So they've added all of those as of today. And the Halo Master Chief Collection is coming. Right. And... It's also, they've got that sale going on right now where it's only a dollar until like June 18th or something for Intense, this month. You should pick it up. Yeah. So that, that's an incredible deal just for those games alone. And with the Division 2 being mentioned today, the Division, if you haven't played it yet, that's definitely a big one to play. Absolutely. Something you want to spend many hours in, easily 30 plus hours in that game. Unless you're Jake. Unless oh. you're Jake. Well, well he shade. didn't get to play it though. In case so. you don't know, that's Shade. I, I that wasn't really interested in it either. Shh. Okay. Uh, but the uh, <laughs> Kevin talked about the Hearts. five studios that were acquired. They were the Initiative, which, which is a new one they just formed in Santa Monica. Yeah, yep. Microsoft. Uh, which one we made. actually talked about earlier in a different podcast. There they talked is. about how they bought a license for that, so that's awesome to see. Uh, Undead Labs, makers of State of Decay, uh, Playground Games. And, and the Undead um, Labs, State of Decay 2, had 2 million downloads in two weeks, so... And they just dropped a 20 gigabyte update on that game as of last night. Yeah, and that's on Game Pass as well. Um, Playground Games, you mentioned they're the makers of Forza. 
Horizon 4, which is a game that was announced today. We're going to talk more about that in a little while, but first we're going to get through this. They also announced that they purchased Ninja Theory, which was a big shock to me. Insane. Yeah. And Game changer. If you don't know them, they made um, Hellblade, Senua's Sacrifice, Sacrifice. and they also made um, Heavenly Sword back on PlayStation 3. So they're a great company. A lot of it seems to be they're heading in the storytelling open world, which is I absolutely love to see. That's the direction they're heading in, and yeah. that, that's incredible. Well, f- frankly, that's where gaming itself is heading, kind of yeah. less linear in general. Should always be. Uh, and lastly, Compulsion Games. Was yeah, also acquired. Compulsion Games, maker of We Happy Few, which is soon to be released, and they actually showed a demonstration of it. And that release date is August 10th of this year. It yeah. looks awesome it and creepy. Look- it's going to be the, one of and the creepiest really games up. I've ever played, without a doubt. Yeah, so there's a lot of games to get through, uh, so let's dive right into it. Do you want to start from the beginning and go down, or let's just bring, jump around? Well, we can start with our top three, do each, like do we talked about first, about, or... and then I do we, we want to just brush over the others as we tight. go through? I say we save the top three for last. <clears throat> save the top three for last? Yeah, so we can... Yeah, let's that's, touch, that's on our ga- touch on the games that we saw, and then we'll... All right, so okay. yeah, we'll okay. start Just for you topic. listeners, so, we're building the hype train to get yeah. to our top three. So right at the top of the show, they came out with their first exclusive, which is Ori and the Will of the Wisps, and that's going to be coming out in 2019. Second exclusive, Halo is. Oh, you're right. Yeah, Halo. Well, Xbox exclusive. They didn't. You're say right, so, but, but they don't have to say that that's an exclusive. <laughs> True. You know but that's an exclusive. But yes, so. uh, Ori actually looked beautiful. Uh, the first one was really pretty. And this one, I in the trailer they showed, it, it looked like there was a lot of, uh, they they really put a lot of detail into this one, and I'm I'm actually excited to play it. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna play through this one too. I didn't get to play through the first one, so I don't know if you actually should play the first one before this one. They didn't really go into detail about that. I'm sure we'll find out more, but uh, cinematic quality to it Beautiful. was very nice. Mm-hmm. The colors that were in that game were and incredible for a platformer i like that they have combat mechanics because yeah they were really good those. interesting combat mechanics too so it turns me off of platformers it was a pretty so. decent trailer to start off the show with and then they went into their world premiere for a brand new game from software's making mm-hmm. called sekiro shadows die twice and that's coming out in 2019 and we'll talk about that a little bit later. A little later. <laughs> we'll get more into that. Yeah. And then after that, Mr. Todd Howard of Bethesda came out onto the stage and talked about their 16-year history with Microsoft and Xbox. And they announced that starting today, Fallout 4 is available on Game Pass. So another reason to invest into Game Pass. And they did a Fallout 76 premiere. And he said that it is four times the size of Fallout 4. And it is in West Virginia. Which is massive. It's going to be a huge game. It and he said prequel. it is prequel to all of the games. Right. So essentially, this is the first game. And the uh, the pre-order is available on June 15th. And there was this was the 300th anniversary of America. And there was some kind of flying monster that Which we had never seen before. not too far away. Yeah. yeah, and yeah. we'll get more Our into that one like later 50 as well. Years ago, so yeah, for sure. So, uh, you guys excited for Fallout seventy six? Uh, we'll talk about it later, Kev. Thanks, Kevin. We'll talk about it. Okay. We're gonna get to that. Later. We just want to run through the list and then talk about the games. <laughs> it's we'll a lot of it's a lot of games. No, you, it is a lot of games. Fifty so. games, probably about ten of them are the uh, the Game Pass games. True. There are games that we've missed, but these are the ones that sit out to us during the show. So if you want the full list, I'm sure they'll have it up on Microsoft's website, so be sure to check that out. So after the Fallout 76 reveal, we got a world premiere from Square Enix set in the Life is Strange universe. And um, during the trailer, they announced at the end of it, the, the game title is called The Awesome Adventures of Captain Spirit. And at the end of it, they said you can download it absolutely free, June 26th. That's so amazing. That is a nice touch I, I right there. Yeah. also from Don't Nod. Don't Nod, well. yes. Yeah, I don't forgot to mention Don't Nod. Uh, incredibly cool touch. Uh, the game itself, they showed the trailer. A lot of it was like very nostalgia, heartfelt. And then to give it out for free, with all, obviously we know developers put a lot of work into their stuff. Mm-hmm. Very cool. 
Yeah, Don't Nod is hitting us with some games right now. So From the the trailer that they gave us, it looked like it was a really interesting way to tell a story because you're following a kid that has a complicated relationship with his dad and seems to be bullied by people at school. And then it kind of gets into like a weird, like you can't tell what's real or if he's just imagining things. So it's, it definitely seems like something that should be worth checking out. Definitely something that reminds you of childhood for sure. And the imagination aspect yeah. of it. Or if it's pretty me, interesting. Your current life. <laughs> or or that. Something that actually I think a lot of people leads us to gaming is the the storytelling aspect. Like when you're a kid, you're making up all these adventures in your head and then when you start to get older a little bit, video games kinda of do that for us. So it's yeah. kind of it's really cool. I'm interested. And for a free game is really something that I didn't expect. Something I did expect, though, and I actually called it in the predictions episode, was the next game that they came out with, which was Crackdown 3. Can we gloat about that? Can we be like, hey, we're the oh, best, yeah. by the yeah. way? We're we the called greatest. Absolutely. All in, in that case, we have to talk about the studio they opened, which we all called. Yeah, we, we, we did. It was actually just me. But okay, I can take the credit. We're gonna ride that coattail. No, it's, it's a we. We did we. this. We did it. We discussed. It's us. Good for us. We. Pat on the back. You right are we. Right we right are we. <laughs> so yeah, <laughs> Crackdown Three. Forever. Terry Crews once again narrating, but also Fantastic. being part of the game. So that's really cool. And they did announce that it will be Xbox Game Pass on day one, and it comes to Xbox. February 2019, so they gave us a release window for that, too. Uh, Which, actually, by the way, is Anthem's month. It is Anthem's Definitely month. Definitely an interesting choice for release. But it is also a month where most people are getting their tax returns now, so True. there's plenty of money to go around. Mary Myself Indian included. Taxes. Yeah. So after Crackdown 3, they went and showed the premiere, another one from Square Enix, and you could pre-order it today, near Automata, including all of its DLC. Available June 26th. Their enhanced edition. In 4K. Yes. Or Xbox In 4K. One, which, ex- for a game like that, is going to be beautiful. Amazing. Yeah. Near Automata, Become as Gods, is what it said. That Become was the official gods title, edition. Become as Gods? Yep. Yep. And I don't know if you guys remember this or not, but from the Game Awards last year, Near Automata won Best Musical Score. So, so not definitely only is it worth beautiful, it sounds nice. Yeah. It's Next up on the list was a trailer for... Metro Exodus, and everything that you saw was in-game captured footage. From that one game single level. looks incredible. Fantastic. And uh, we're going to be talking about this one a little later as well, so we'll kind of leave some of the details shrouded for the time being. But right. the release date is February 22nd, 2019. Indeed. Which is the exact same day as Anthem, by the way, What's which that? is very challenging. Challenging for, me for personally. you. Yeah, because <laughs> that's two games that you really want to play. And based on all of that content coming from one level that they showed us, it's that's, robust. That game's that going to be expansive. Yeah. So then uh, Mr. Phil Spencer came back out on stage and he was talking about the wide range of expression and working with creators to look at the best on Xbox. And he said, for the first time ever on Xbox, we got a major announcement that nobody saw coming. And that is that Kingdom Hearts 3 is coming to Xbox. Straight out of nowhere. In 4K. Well, we did In discuss something 4K. of this type. We thought it could be possible we see Final Fantasy 7. Because we knew we did. that Microsoft had to come out and blow us away. We said they had to so come out strong. Six, Final Fantasy they came 7, out strong. So we knew something like this was coming. Yeah. But Kingdom Hearts? We didn't see this coming. Kingdom Hearts is a, a crazy title. To have Not only on did they give us a very robust gameplay trailer... But they also gave us the release date, which is January 29th. 2019. So it's coming soon, yes, 2019. Which I think is a very, 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 is a very underrated aspect of the of the show that Microsoft just gave us, is that, like you mentioned, all of it is either coming the end of this year, early next year, or just a 2019 date. That's yeah. huge. Yeah, some of the ones that just say 2019 on them, which is expected when you get an early release game. Right. Um, as a trend that they've kind of changed over the past few years it used to be you get an announcement and it could be 10 years before you ever even were to see a trailer again so final fantasy 7 <clears throat> to say that yeah including final fantasy 7 so then after that fantastic reveal they even took a step further with the next reveal which was an exclusive and it is 
Sea of Thieves is getting DLC. <laughs> And Jake was incredibly excited. <laughs> More was, excited than Kingdom Hearts. I, I peed a little watching it. <laughs> <laughs> but that not only are they getting one, but they're getting two DLCs. So that's uh, within the that's, next couple months too. And, sales, and I, I can guarantee sales. you guys. There will be more skeletons. At there least, will be more at skeletons. At least two times more skeletons. <laughs> so, uh, Cursed Sales coming out in July. See if these players, you guys are lucky. And all Forsaken the Shores all of them. in September. Yeah. And they did say that they're, they're going to be making a lot of changes to the game because they want you to continue to play it. And they have over 2 million players right over now. 4 so. million. 4 million players right now. So, they're doing very well. After that, we got the Battlefield Five story trailer. Now, if you listened to our show yesterday, you were aware of that this one was coming because we talked about it yesterday after EA's press conference. So at EA's, they debuted the multiplayer trailer and they gave you a little look at Nordley's story, but they said, watch the Microsoft press conference for the full reveal for Nordley's story. And it was way shorter than I had anticipated. It- it wasn't really a reveal it didn't of the give story. Us a story. It wasn't whatsoever. much. Wasn't much going on it there. Was, it was basically what it was almost they gave us yesterday. Yeah, it was almost the same thing. I was expecting like so a walkthrough of a mission or something. Yeah, yeah. An extra that's, minute of time. It was definitely strange. Yeah, I thought we were gonna see some gameplay there. I don't. I mean, it didn't happen. It but still looks beautiful. But it still looks beautiful running on that Frostbite engine, which is a fantastic engine. So coming up after that, we got a exclusive world premiere, which is. Forza Horizon 4. Oof. And wow. I can tell you from experience, I don't get excited for racing games, but this one is a game changer. And it's something that I'm actually looking forward to very much. Just industry changing. And we'll be discussing it, later on as well. We'll, be, we'll definitely <laughs> be coming one. back to that one. <laughs> uh, that one's by well, Playground Games. Uh, release date for that one was announced as well. October 2nd, 2018. And it will launch on Xbox Game Pass as well. So that's another one right around the corner. Yeah. So that's when they went into talking about their new studios, which we've already touched on. And then they showed the Compulsions Games We Happy Fuse game trailer. And then they went into a new trailer that everybody saw coming and we were just waiting for it. One for PUBG. PUBG support continues on Xbox, and they're coming out with their new Sandhawk map, which is going to be summer 2018, and they're bringing out a new war mode, and we saw the inevitable death by frying pan. Didn't they, uh, didn't they sue Fortnite for uh Yeah, we're not going to go into that. Don't worry about that. That was a uh, lawsuit in North Korea <laughs> or South Korea. I'm not sure which so, one was. Uh, how many of us are excited for that? But there's a 50 v 50 Fortnite Do we have sound mode. effects for crickets? We can I mean, we can add them. We can, we can get, throw we can them in there, I'm sure. And then they had a little tease at the end of their trailer saying winter 2018, and that showed the landscape was actually winter. So a winter expansion, something you'll hear more soon. For all of you that play that game. And then they came out with another world premiere, which one of our members was very excited about. Tales of Vesperia. Oh, definitive yeah. edition. Coming to Xbox. Coming to the West for the first time. This well, and it's winter. coming this winter. And there's an update. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, Tales of Vesperia did come into two, the, the Xbox 360, but now it's now it's coming in with... Updated graphics. And 4K. It's, it's going to look. 4K it. visuals. Absolutely excellent. Completely remastered. I'm fucking ready. Bringing it to the we West for the first time. He jumped out of his chair. He did. There was a couple times. He jumped higher later. Uh, also, Ooh, they yeah. came out next with another world premiere, and that was the Division 2, which I jumped out of my chair for. Oh, so good. And this time, they're going to Washington, D.C. Throwing smoke. Uh, early <laughs> early rumors were maybe London or New Orleans, but I am so happy that they're going to DC. Cover me, Kev. We got to get you leveled up. Seriously, <laughs> yeah, we got to get you. No, I'm, I'm leveled up. You man. Some I'm leveled experience. up in the division. Yeah, we need to get you some experience. We need to get you some experience. Yeah. <laughs> you have none, Jake. Throw the smoke. Throw the smoke. <laughs> throw the smoke. Cover me. Flank. So them. that's going to DC. <laughs> they're going to DC. A lot of urban warfare there. It's six months after the virus. They gave us a lengthy trailer, and then they gave us a lengthy gameplay, uh, gameplay demonstration, and, and it looks more refined. 
the skills have changed. It looks more fine tuned. The skill uh, trees and the item menu menus are much crisper. A lot of changes there, so we're very excited to get involved with that game. And they said that on March 15th next year, there's going to be an open beta. Um, which you can sign up for yeah, already. Which you can sign up for, up. Yeah. So if you're interested in Division us. 2, definitely go and sign up for that beta. And then after the Division 2 is when Ashley Spiker came out and talked about Game Pass. And I don't know if we mentioned this earlier when they were talking about that, but they she specifically wanted to mention that Fast Start. it's called Fast Start is a set of algorithms that they're working on. And Brett, go ahead and tell us what Fast Start's all about. So... Uh, Miss Spiker, she actually didn't describe this. She she probably didn't have time to really go into the details of it. Um, she mentioned that it was two times faster for gamers so that we can get in and play the game a lot faster. So looking into it, uh, they actually released a little bit of information on Twitter actually about what it more about what it is. So what what's going to happen is it's actually an update for your Xbox that's going to your Xbox is when downloading a game is now going to prioritize kind of. Uh, the files and things that the game needs to run and it'll download those first so that now when the game says it's ready to start at 40 or 50 percent you're actually going to be able to play those games and that i mean that's crazy that's awesome so it was already a great service to begin with but it's double the speed to get you playing these games faster which is a great thing and the update is coming in June. june yes and they also announced uh new games are coming monthly and the exclusive games are coming same day as global release, and they mentioned a few games, uh, one being Ashen, one being Warhammer, Vermintide 2. There were Great so game. many titles that there were, were showing There were so many us. titles that they were showing at this Game Pass portion that we missed a few of them. We apologize. If There's you just too many guys, games. you missed 10. It was, yeah. Yeah, it was, it was, it was so oh. fast. Um, ESO, Tamriel Unlimited, we mentioned in Fallout 4. And Fringe Wars was another one that they were coming out with. In space, I think. Yep, the that space battles. Yeah. Conqueror's Blade. It definitely looked interesting. Waking, Raji, Super Meat Boy Forever, ah. Planet Alpha, Hard Game, mm-hmm. Isle of the Nine, Children of Morta, The Wind Road, Generation Zero, Generation Zero, Dead Cells. Thank you for repeating it, Jake. I didn't hear him the first time. Wow. And then, Can you repeat it for me you. again? I think you said Generation Zero. Zero. Just in case you wait, didn't hear it. Wow. Wait, wait, wait. Generation Zero. <laughs> <laughs> and then after that, we got a exclusive, which was from Creature Studios, which was a skating game <laughs> called Session. It was just a gameplay trailer of a, a dude roam, roaming the streets. It looked like free skating. But it also kind of looked like he was. It was like a time progression because there looked like there was like. I think he changed outfits. And that I couldn't tell if it was changing outfits or he got older. <laughs> like he Something. started off sucking really badly, falling, hurting himself, and then all of a sudden he lands a sick jump. It was like the sickest. Thirty-five feet. The insane. sickest. Yeah. Super sick jump, guys. Yeah, it was sick, Crazy. bro. Uh, actually, there was a game before this one by Square Enix, and it was Tomb Raider. Shadow, Shadow of the Tomb Raider the Tomb was the Raider. official title <laughs> and that's actually going to release on september 14th so tomb raider Honestly, tomb raider shadow of the tomb raider tomb raider yeah <laughs> we got uh we She's got a gameplay jake's gonna be our repeater for the day <laughs> we got a gameplay trailer it didn't go a lot into it uh we don't have a lot of information on it uh it but looks like what we did see the cleansing yeah it was very it showed you very cinematic it looked like Laura fucked what? up it's yeah looked like. looks like she fucked up she's Raiding tombs like yeah. she do. Yeah, and then and then you done fucked up. The cleansing was she does. All of a sudden, <laughs> the cleansing is. Local sound people good. are the going cleansing. crazy. It's not something you want to hear. Doesn't sound like a fun time. <laughs> it's a bad day. She's washed away. <laughs> she got washed up. And then what was after that, Kevin? Uh, after that one, they was session, and then after that was uh, Black Desert, and oh, the so beta good. begins beautiful, fall but... twenty eighteen. Can't, can't. I'm very excited for that. I've been excited for that for a while. Um, I've actually knew nothing about this game. I know, so seeing this trailer, it was a pretty lengthy trailer, and it was fantastic. <laughs> so I know you don't disregard that I comment. Because a large <laughs> <laughs> MMORPG Holy from shit. Pearl Abyss. I'm going to try and keep it together while these guys 
do what they we're do. Losing it. It's been in uh, it's been in Japan and it's been big on PC for a while. Um, so they they've let us know a while back actually that they were bringing it to console. They said Xbox was first, which is why we, without a doubt, saw it on Xbox's yeah. stage. But it is coming to other consoles soon. Um, I don't know. They call it an exclusive. Are you sure? Did they call it an exclusive? Yeah, yeah this is an maybe exclusive. things have changed. No, this is exclusive. Yeah. Maybe that's something they bought out. Yeah, maybe. they definitely bought that they out. Bought that was things. an exclusive. Yeah, that's only coming to Very Xbox. Cool. Hey, Kevin's gonna take this next one. The next one. My goodness. Did you guys I did not kind of raise a see this coming <laughs> at all. Flipped it right over. <laughs> did not see this one coming. A world premiere. And everything that you saw was in engine in real time. Mm. And that's what made me even more excited for this because this looked like it was a production. So this is by Capcom and it is the reveal for Devil May Cry 5. And it's been so long. Ten years. Oh, man. And uh, my life, it looks fantastic. And it's <laughs> slated to release spring 2019. And it looked like the main protagonist may be Nero again. And you got a little tease of Dante at the end, yeah, riding in on a well, motorcycle. I'm, I'm pretty sure that was Who Dante. Who do you prefer, Nero or Dante? Dante. Fucking Dante? Yeah. Well, fuck me. Dante for sure. Well, apparently you're getting both as some, some yeah, sort. Some I way. hope so. Nero did Dante. look pretty Just badass, that. though. And I liked his arm. And yep. he looks like he has a pretty fun sense of humor. Yeah, I mean, he's probably changed quite a bit. I like the... I'm just I'm just hoping that they don't make Dante too brooding because he like, did look pretty anything. brooding in that last shot. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, they did. Oh, that's typical Dante though. So no Devil May Cry two, please. No, <laughs> no, not two. So uh, yeah, that game looks fantastic, and we'll be seeing that in spring, which is way earlier than I would have expected. Right, I'm excited for it, um, especially with this being our first time hearing about anything. About yeah, it. this was a world premiere, so that's. Fantastic! It's not a world. It's not exclusive to Xbox, so um, that's, that's something May, of note May release, as well. That way, we have some time to play just, other games. Passionate, the director was when he came out. Yeah, yeah the director he, was he, so he came out and uh, he, him, and his translator came out and they talked <laughs> about it for a while. And uh, he, he, he did a good job. I thought he did fine. I, I thought the translator said the same thing. Yeah, He's he like, did. I understood. My favorite thing is English is hard. <laughs> yeah. He'll so, take over. That so was, he'll take was over. Great. Having I think him out they there both were fantastic. developers, but he's the he's the main guy. Yeah. I don't yeah. think he was just the translator there. Yeah, that's probably right. It Hide- so it, it does. Itsuno? Hideaki Itsuno. Yeah, that was his name. Oh, the developer. Impressive. Nice one. Good job. So yeah, uh, we're super excited for that one, or at least I am anyway. Um, I'm excited for from it. the gameplay trailer. They showed a variety of things, including combat and some weaponry. Um, a new type of arm slash gauntlet for Nero, um, which was kind of the theme for him of, having uh, the, mm-hmm. of their show here. A hidden theme <laughs> happening throughout Microsoft's press conference. Lots of arms missing, missing or limbs, broken, and seasonal changes. Something. Seasonal changes oh, and we did talk about that quite a bit. Limbs. <laughs> so the times and I mean changing. they did also mention uh, back to Devil May Cry that they really wanted it to be beautiful. And yep. the gameplay to be crisp at the same time. So they yep. mentioned that it was motion con- cap yeah, and the control for a lot scheme. of the people. Yep. But the controllers at the same time. Titan they made fluid, sure they that said. They so that's exactly. really exciting. I mean, here. Can't wait to get my hands on that title. Uh, after yeah. that, they rolled out with a console. Did you have something to add to that? No, no keep going. No, go ahead. What you got? What you got? You'll hear it on the replay. Oh, I was going to talk about how uh, you know I don't really expect much difference between all the Devil May Cry games because most of the time they're pretty smooth when it comes to the combat. Jake, it's been a decade. I expect oh, some changes. But it's going to look so nice. It's we expect so some good. changes, but we don't want to change too much. Well, I, I know exactly different. what he's talking Having about. Having played the fourth and only the fourth, give me yeah. a different game. A <laughs> whole different game. <laughs> We're change not talking about time. DMC. That doesn't count. That wasn't... Okay, never mind. <laughs> it wasn't bad. <laughs> We're moving on to the next, which was a console console launch exclusive. One other one that I did I didn't actually see coming. I didn't think this game could support DLC, but it is. Cuphead is getting the delicious Last Course DLC, mm. which is slated to release in 2019 and includes a brand new character, Mrs. Chalice. New bosses and new, new bosses weapons as well. There's no Ms. R in there. It's just Miss Chalice. Chalice. Ms. Ms. Chalice. There you go. She's I apologize. Woman, she is an she independent is a strong, woman. She independent doesn't need no man, Chalice. Kevin. I wonder, if that, I wonder if that could be three-player now when... Or maybe was it already like two? two? Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure. I, I don't think so. 
I don't you know. know. I that's think kind of a fun. huge that would be a change huge, to yeah, that's dropping a, a DLC. A new game system. I yeah. 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 They didn't, they didn't even give us a date. They just said 2019. Yeah, they just so said 2019 on that one. So that was one of the ones they just said 2019. And then we had that followed up by another exclusive console launch title, which was a dungeon crawler in the vein of an old school type Zelda game named Tunic. This is on my By list. Finji. By Finji. A single developer i'm gonna say when this uh when it first showed that first scene with a little fox uncurling none of us were impressed and then it blew us away then yeah. i got excited and now it's on my top three list so we'll talk about it later <laughs> really? wow wow, wow. Yeah. Yeah. Three. we go. did not get a release date or a window for this one we just uh, got an announcement info, of uh, the game that's being made it showed us gameplay though and it was uh phil spencer came back out and he was talking about their initiative for why single indie developer should make games on Xbox. And get that love. So And you they... can see this in the vein of a not to cut you off. No, no, uh, Lost Soul aside. Cut him right off. Um on the PlayStation side was actually being developed by um a single developer as well. Yeah. And then he came out and I think it was actually E three that it was shown and he got it got it actually turned into a uh, company getting behind him and supporting him because the right. game looked incredible. So it yep. could be in that same vein where they're trying to get, hey, look at how, look at this game. It's beautiful. Now we need somebody to get behind this guy and make it happen. True. Uh, it's it's nice to see that Microsoft is still taking a welcoming arms for indie developers. They're well, not giving up like on. They're them. gonna do more than that. Like resources, they said, put the company yeah. behind them. That'll be well. It's 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 a bold move for them because. Over the past couple of years, Sony was that mm -hmm. opening arm come welcoming in, and they've right. slowly been moving away, focusing on their first party major titles. Xbox, Microsoft has been on a rocky road for a while. They've got the best console, but they don't have the games. So, this was a and start. I think, what and I we think wanted. They really heard this... that. They listened to that, and they yeah. said, "You know what? We're gonna we're they gonna change that we're directly sure. to our podcast." And yeah, they, they so... heard TSGG say, "Hey guys, you need to." <laughs> and they that said, was the fact. Here's fifty. You, are you Phil guys woke up, right at us. They, they get... drank his coffee. He they... listened to us, and he went out to Japan and started going down the list of developers. The list. These TG, T, TSGG folks, they know what's coming. There's smart guys over there. Smart, smart guys in Kaylee. Can you give me those, yeah. those acronyms again for me, Jay? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to need you to know, work on those, uh, <laughs> our letters for our company. Thanks. TSGG. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, so it's something that's been happening is Nintendo has been slowly becoming the indie destination mm -hmm. with their Nintendo Switch. And it's nice to see Microsoft on stage saying, hey, hey, now, indie developers, you come right over here. We're going to take care of you. Well, I think a good po point to be seen is also people are getting sick of the stale, same old games by a lot of the major developers because it's the same sto story written over and over and over again. Looking at you, yeah. Activision. We'd well, we like complained about Halo and Gears of War leading up to this and everybody. Yeah. And stories, games with great stories do very, very well. Yeah, they do. Those are the things that people tend to gravitate towards, and that's the thing that they were mentioning. And um, Phil, Phil was mentioning about the story-driven connection to, especially with childhood and your imagination, that you have the connection with the good stories, and that's something that you want to be experiencing as an adult when you're playing these games. So, indie developers with different kinds of storytelling are always going to be welcome. Yeah, and I do think that's why Tunic grabbed me so exactly. well. Exactly because it it was it was Zelda. It what is this little fox warrior? Zelda. Tell me, tell yeah, me about this little fox warrior. Straight up dungeon crawler, <laughs> and the we're music. always in need. Of I want to know his name. Give me the, the, fox the little name. boss thing they showed us at the end. There it was yeah, pretty incredible. Like, it was the way it, that looked like a hard boss. His wings honestly. popped out and everything. That was definitely uh, kind yeah. of a reach out and grab you moment. Yeah, and the mm -hmm. combat looked. Clean, clean. It yeah. looked clean, but it didn't look simple or easy. No, and that roll, sort of that right. roll we all yeah. saw, where everybody's like, "Whoa!" Dark yeah. Souls PTSD he, moment, uh, just all much, of a sudden, yeah. instantaneous. Some, it looks fantastic, and that was by uh, uh, the d developers game. from Halifax, uh, Nova Scotia. So that's kind of the, the the combat system people are gravitating towards now is yep. the, the the rolling, action, carrying, roll, so Vincent frame. Yep. Next up on the list is a new game from Bandai Namco. 
And this was a first look world premiere, and it's a crossover game. And they had a voiceover. And do you remember if they said it was in game engine or not? Because that looked like a film that no, we watched. No, they didn't say that was in game. Yeah, I can't imagine that's what it's going to look like. No, but it if it did. does look it like did that, look like a film. Yeah. Whoa! I hope it looks like that so much. This is a Naruto game a called in that, Jump so. Force. That was amazing. Slated for 2019 release, and it is a crossover fighting game, and it had. Dragon Ball Z, Naruto, One Piece, and so we thought it was just three, and then oh. at the very end, we got a tease with Light Yagami and Ryuk, Ryuk standing, watching the battle, waiting to join. Death so Note for those <laughs> that's <laughs> less Note, yeah. losery people. So, <laughs> any, any other anime fans are going to be they put jumping out of their chairs there. like we were. I'd well, I mean, I'm excited. thinking it's going to be mainly showing yeah. jumps. So yeah, stay yeah, tuned well, for exactly. yeah. reveals. That's coming out in 2019. So on the traditional scale of fighting games, you're going to get character releases it, most right. likely. That gives them a basically an endless good. list of. Yeah. So you'll probably stay tuned good. for that. We'll probably have Imagine we'll have much more coverage on One Punch Man. After that was a world premiere for Dying Light Two. Called it. Yeah. You want to talk about it a little bit? Uh, sure. Uh, so Dying Light Two. It's not a direct sequel. It's actually it looks like it was in a different city. So the outbreak has spread from. So you kind of failed your mission in the first game. For those who actually got the DLC and got the canon ending, you failed. You lost. Um, so the disease has spread across the world, it looks like. They showed a gameplay demo, which was really good. Yeah, a lengthy one, too. Uh, did you guys get a release date? I didn't. The, pick up uh, no. Oh. They, what they talk well, in the gameplay demo, all you got was how choices are going to matter and that there's that. hundreds of choices, but you didn't get anything for a release window or anything like hundreds that. Hundreds of choices that change the game itself. Yep. It, which the is structure of the game. Yeah. And it, the way they showed it, it looks like it's going to have a, a an impact you see right away. So that's always It's going to be physical. Dying Light, the first one, wasn't multiplayer no. or anything? It was single player? There was experience. a multiplayer mode where you you were... One guy was like the Night Hunter, the evil zombie creature. And right. You guys were... But didn't have anything to do with... No, it wasn't like, like co-op or anything. No. Yeah, so they... Because they didn't mention anything like that in this either, so... I'm not familiar with it. So I don't no. think they would, just because of the changes made on the internet. Yeah, I was kind of wondering how that would work. It would make it very yeah. difficult. So, But you can assume, just from the first, there's going to be a crafting system, uh, materials you gather. And they call like this that. the modern Dark Ages. So I like that tag. Like, Complete yeah, with nice. uh, some guys in armor that look like Ooh. knights. Yeah. But it was a peacekeeper faction. Mm -hmm. yeah. There's going to be what five factions? They you mentioned that there were multiple factions. They, said, yeah. they didn't give us yeah. a number. Yeah. And every single choice that you have in that game will affect the world that you live in. Yeah, which is so that's, pretty dope. That's pretty it, it was, badass. He was yeah. David Cage. It was cool. Oh, stop it! <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Shots fucking fire. always shooting. <laughs> so after that, they gave another world premiere, which nobody saw coming. And this is a game that's going to launch with Game Pass in 2019 at some point. It doesn't have a date, but it is Battletoads. <laughs> oh, yeah. Jake's number one excited game. Yeah, I'm... No. Battletoads <laughs> in 4K. Yeah, in 4K. It's yeah, couch co-op, guys. I spelled couch co-op. Yeah, three-player couch co-op. <laughs> co so that's, that's pretty I cool. Think that's the, the, that is very cool. That's going to be the most fun They didn't really that. show us anything. You saw yeah. nothing. You saw, you saw a, zero. a tongue. You saw yeah. a title. Well, that's all you get to see. It's slated for 2019. Yeah, it's 2019. No, like, and month, so it might be holiday. It's just nostalgia, really. Battletoads. I would get Battletoads. Well, you yeah. can't. It's, we don't know. This it is could be crazy. We know nothing. We know yeah. nothing at all. Yeah. Honestly, we should have saw. It we know the title, later, really, because twenty nineteen that meme was game pretty strong. Confirmed. Yeah. A whole bunch of years ago. It's true. They let it uh, slip by. After Battle Toads, the excitement of Battle Toads, we got another world premiere, which turned out to be Just Cause Four. Just Cause. Uh, another Squeenix game coming out, and you can pre-order this one in the store today, and it comes out December fourth. The graphics which were nobody insane, saw of that coming. So they, didn't, they didn't show us a lot, just some gameplay, uh, the graphics right. look great. Just a lot of visual stuff. Yeah, yeah visual stuff. A lot of explosions, and, yeah, which is what the game is. Typical to just, just cause. Yeah. Big old tornado we drove into. So It looks so fun, though. It'll be so fun then, game. after that one, uh, it was a really good trailer. People were getting hyped up for that one. And then they did a world premiere, and they put 
the Gears of War logo <laughs> on the screen, and the crowd went nuts. Oh, they went ape shit. And then through the logo, <laughs> a Funko Pop character came through, and the crowd was silenced. <laughs> it completely like, no sound. Crickets. <laughs> yeah. Uh, they showed off a little trailer with the Funko Pops fighting each, fighting it out. Gear it was pop. cutesy, and it was what was it called? Gear, Gear pop. pop. Gear Gears. Pop. Gears. Gears pop. Gears pop. Gears pop. Gears pop. Yeah. Um, it's a mobile app. Studio head Rod Ferguson came out and talked about Gears Pop and the changes that they're making to the Gears universe and everything that they're doing. And he also announced a PC game, Gears Tactics, and they showed off a little demonstration of that one. And this game actually takes place 12 years before Gears 1. And it's a turn-based uh, shooter, uh, RTS. It looks like it looks like an Xbox, uh, no, Xbox, XCOM, XCOM. Yeah, it's, like it's kind of it's like RTS. Turn-based, turn based, customized turn based. squad, yeah. like, boss really battles. Cool. Turn-based. It, it was pre-alpha strategy. footage. To be, interesting. And to be, it looks really good for pre-alpha. Yeah, let's be realistic. I mean, I, I yeah. don't think it's going to be a bad game. because no, no, that's no, going to no, be no. a good game. It'll be interesting. Yeah, for sure. that's, and it's PC. And they mentioned that you could build your own squads and things yeah. like that. And then it'll definitely be interesting. So then they brought the noise back. Then they brought the noise back with... They know how to play to a crowd. Yeah, yeah, and they brought the logo back up but this time it was frozen and it was gears five and then the crowd went absolutely insane again and they showed off a trailer a lengthy trailer and this game is definitely story focused i'm not personally familiar with the gear storyline but it looks it's like a it's a guy. first Ugh. for gears where you're playing as a female protagonist there correct me if i'm wrong protagonist in there were the game so okay. far true but the same. But this is this gonna, looks like it's her story. They do jump yeah, characters in these games quite a bit, so we don't know for sure how long you'll be playing or who. Yeah. Because uh, JD Phoenix is still in it, as is Marcus. So. Right. But Close the protagonist that it was you were playing it as focused was a, on her, a it woman named yes, Kate, and um, the locust symbol on her necklace is going to be an issue. I'm not familiar with the lore of Gear, so I don't know what that means. Locust stars. No, so it was never that specific thing where like. Somehow she's turning evil. Well, I mean, the Locust Queen always had like the mind. That's true. She, did, she was ability. able to. She had the tele telecommunication. Yeah, telepathic sure, we'll communication. She got like a. Phone she could in speak your into your mind, like telekinesis. No, no, that's no, not, not telepathy. Yeah. Telepathy. 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 There you go. There you go. There telepathy. You go. Yeah, she yeah. could. Telepathy. She could speak to the people. But that's uh, that's another telepathy. one that's going to be on Game Pass, which is awesome. Yeah, and they're going back to where it all began, so that's pretty cool too. And that's going to launch in 2019. Then they talked about their console quality gaming streaming service. Well, Phil came back out and talked. Phil about came it. out and talked about it. And they're it's cloud based, and it's basically you're going to be able to stream any game on any device. And he also announced that they are working on the next Xbox console. And behind him was a very dark image of a square. So I'm pretty sure that was your first look at their console. He said, take that, Sony. It's a box. How quick until PS5 <laughs> gets thrown out at us? <laughs> yeah, he, he's yeah like, really. Sony, I want you to catch Suddenly. these hands. Yeah, he's <laughs> he said, definitely saying that he came out, and that was his final statement, saying that we've got the machines, we now have the games, so we're going to move. We have machine. studios. <laughs> we're going to be here watching. for years. Yeah. And then he goes, everybody have a nice end the studio and the, uh, not the studio, but the, the, the theater started to go a little crazy and cut his speech off. And he was hacked by, which just gave me goosebumps oh, again, by the way. God. Who was he hacked by, Jake? A CD Project Red. CD Projekt Red announcing hacked his closing speech. Very first fucking time. Thank you for everything. World premiere Jake of Cyberpunk laptop, 2077. Guys. Oh my god! I almost threw my laptop. I heard he the was fucking the noise. first to notice it. He knew. Yep. He knew the song immediately. Yeah, as soon as I heard the piano start playing, I'm like, "This is Cyberpunk 2077," and I almost threw everything and I screamed. I think the glass in our house broke <laughs> because his squeal was so high pitched. It was, it was easily incredible. the moment of the show. It was pure love. Yeah. Pure and love. The trailer that we saw did not disappoint no. either. It was game engine oh, uh, footage. So game engine beautiful. footage. Never. So, and there is you, so much going on in that trailer. But did you trailer. notice what they said in the text as it was rolling down? It said final trailer. It did say final trailer. But yeah. then that's not the one he selected. Didn't give us. No, he they selected, selected the, the E3, E3 trailer. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So correct. Think about that. Teased. So they have more coming. Think about it. It's just teasing. 
Yeah, because there's they more didn't to come. give us a date. They didn't give no. us a year on this mm. one. There was also another selection that said final version. Yes. Yep. So mm. that was... Uh, but a lot of it... Ended, can't wait till they click that it, one. Also, at the top, <laughs> I, it believed, I believe it said CD Projekt, and then it said uh, Icebreaker.exe yep. was your... Uh, Basically, your file yep. that it was going in. So that and then the there's a lot name. of things. they were breaking yeah. the ice school MS DOS. And then it was the password was red. Yeah, so they that were was breaking cool. the ice right there. They decided mm-hmm. to come back and I, I mean, I, I mean, we all we all expected this. We knew it was coming. We did the way they did but it. We didn't expect way. it. You, this I mean, way. you couldn't think it. You couldn't I, come I up with a better way. They were hinting at a CD Project Red. Oh yeah, for sure. It was Cyberpunk in the very beginning, but. So that was and then awesome. Just to five like years that, so where they were roaming five around fucking years. Stuff out. Right. We were hoping for a fable ending, but that's that's pretty. That's if a pretty. It, if you're not going to give us fable, give us cyberpunk. That's that's a good, yeah. If this is it. how you're giving it to us, this we're okay with this one. Yeah. So that was two hours worth of Microsoft laying down the gauntlet, condensed into one hour by us. <laughs> yeah. You're welcome. So let's talk about some of our. Best moments, games that we want to feature in this Let's that we uh, gigantic list of just, fifty games. Just want to go around and talk about them each. Top okay. three lists for real, everybody. Real quick burner yeah. for sure. Brett, go ahead and start it. All right, I've got counterclockwise. That's weird, Kevin. <laughs> I'm not starting. Kevin's switching it up, guys. Switching it uh, up. I've got. It was Sekiro, his idea. He can start. Sekiro. Yeah. Forza Four and Tunic. So well, what I'm three what I'm, great games. Right when I'm there, looking at this list, these aren't these may not be the uh, the games I'm most excited for. Yeah. These are the games that I sat up in my chair watching it, and I was like, "Wow, that's that's really cool." He just wanted to hurt Brennan by uh, <laughs> taking his top game. Okay. To be fair, understood. I mean, we can all Sekiro. Pick. We've, I mean, we've been discussing yeah. since that since we saw the Shadows Die Twice trailer and True. didn't give us any information. And Brennan and I actually have recently been watching a lot of videos, and uh, we kind of as soon as they showed. They showed his arm at the beginning, and we said that this is what this is. This yeah. is from, and this is the game that they're coming out with. Although we thought it was Tenchu, so we did think it was Tenchu. Uh, it I did don't turn know out if to this be... is based in the same world as Tenchu, right? But it seems or like it's a it, whole just, new IP just with the, or the setting. We're not and sure. The, the the arm, which was similar to the Tenchu arm with the grappling hook. Yeah, uh, but we can make a very strong, educated guess that it's probably from the Tenchu universe. We can say the that combat it is in that from, trailer. So... They actually had actual it, gameplay it combat in there. It was fantastic. And man, it looks great. Can't wait to get my hands on that one. They, they kept a lot of mystery with it, too, because there's the old man who was speaking to you yep. who seem, seemingly brought you back to life. Yep. And who's carving stuff. So he's, are you he's a puppet? carving. Who knows? Yeah, and, we don't know. And that's, that's be a very puppet. interesting. Could be a very, puppet. Very cool. Because you did die. Yeah. And then you just you stood came back right up. back. And it did show kind of like a spirit rising with yeah. you, some kind of like burst of red. We don't know. Yeah, some and, more uh, details to come for that one for sure. Very, very cool. Did we get a date for that one? or We did not. Okay. So that's one of the few that they didn't give us a date well, I believe for. It was, so. well, it was 2019, but we didn't get oh, a uh, release date. Let me take a look. Just yeah, sure. Take a look. Because it's it's going to be very good. Uh, new IP from them. It's going to be incredible. I mean, From is, always gives us good stuff. So This is true. No, just 2019. Just 2019. Okay, nothing. So we can expect that in 2019. Yeah. And then uh, my next one was Forza 4. Um, her... Forza Horizon 4, sorry. And I hate racing games. I can't stand them. I haven't played them since Need for Speed back on PS2. They were so yep. good. I, they were I good haven't then. enjoyed them. This game looks incredible. Yeah. Um, from the kind of world events that they have that they showed us yep. to uh, the seasons, which, like we talked about, is a big part of the entire thing that we're yeah, going They showed through. off all four seasons um, in, different weather in action. The whole what the changes the, the environment. seasons do to the atmosphere around you. Like when it turns to winter, they actually showed that the lake, the lake was frozen and you go out there and a world event happened on the lake during that season. So, And they said that in this engine, in this universe, you are constantly connected always and to all anyone. players are in the same universe. Right. So at any time in this trailer, there were massive amounts of cars going mm-hmm. in every direction. All kinds of cars, too. Yep. We had the the race cars from the McLaren that it showed us yep. to dune buggies. So yeah. it's it just incredible Classic variety cars. showed to yeah, us. Like it was, a it, bunch of them. And monster it just trucks, got me excited for, stuff like for that. Four by four four hovercraft. They hovercraft. Was even hovercraft. There. There was hovercraft. The McLaren Senna. Yeah. Um, they were in Scotland. They were in the coastline of, of Britain. Yep. Nissan Sylvia that was I mean 
modified. Really can't say enough about this game. It's a um, shared world they're talking about. It's it's just uh, going to be... It's, that was October 2nd, right? Yep. Yeah. And it launches on Game Pass as well. So you are going to have oh, a lot of players. 60 frames I, per second. 60 frames per second. I can't imagine. On the Xbox One S. Yeah. I mean, a million players, same time. And I can't imagine. You'll never. Their systems will handle it. Play with. Yeah, they're yeah. made to handle it. And so. like they said, like they 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 showed us the quick chat features where you can just say, "Hey, you want to race whatever to these yep. people," and it's just it's got a lot of cool aspects that that got me excited for a racing game for the first time in a long time. So that I had to put them on my list in my life. Um, actually, Tunic. Yeah. Ever. Tunic, yeah. my third game. We talked about quite a bit with the with the little fox. I just want to know who this little fox warrior is. Uh, it's we like talked a little fox link. We, we, yeah, it's it's a little fox Even link. Even dressed That's exactly similar to Link. It was like the little, little green jacket. Yeah. Yeah. You know what you're That's playing what when you play this and game. It looked like the gameplay looked like um, a Majora's Mask or the, yeah. the Ocarina of Time, and that gets but that got me excited. It's so pretty too. And, and yeah. it's brand new. Exactly, it's in the 4K. It's going to be beautiful and yeah. I'm, pixel I'm, perfect. I'm excited. That's what I want. Also, other thing I thought was interesting about that was that it's not. Some games go way overboard on making everything super detailed, and while, yes, I enjoy that too, sometimes it's nice to see just a pretty simple but nicely rendered game that doesn't have to go too deep into the details so you can just enjoy the gameplay right. without going, oh my god, there's just so much stuff going on. Right. This isn't a game you're going to sweat over. You're going to enjoy this yeah. game. Well, we don't know pretty... about uh, You no, might no, no, sweat. No, no. That <laughs> combat, <laughs> some of that combat that boss, did not look easy. Challenging. That's true, but I'm not... <laughs> Prepare to sweat. It, 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 it's not a game that I'm, I'm going to be stressing about beating. I'm going to really broken. enjoy it. It's, be- it's beautiful. Uh, the all music was good. It was just, it's just going to be all eight. a really yeah. fun game, yeah. I think. The music, uh, I'm glad you mentioned that because the retro synthiness of this type of game. Something that we really enjoy. Super yes. nostalgic. Mm-hmm. You got to call it, you got to call it out when you see it. And when it's done properly, well, it was done very, very well. And from a single producer, the, the single yeah, one, dev, that's one person. crazy. Made this game, so well, that's fantastic. It started. We don't know if this is when also Microsoft true. took yeah. them. Yes, if they got yeah. a team and very right. true. That's true. They could be a part of the uh, new studio. We don't know. Yep. I mean, that's so. Those are Brett's three. Now it's time for Jake. Jake's. Oh, hi. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that was awkward. I'm gonna need you to just jump into your. We're gonna cut now, Jake. Jake out of this. So. Well, the thing about this is that I, I had to look at this list a couple times because I thought I had a solid three, but now I. Jake, if you I mean, there was only three, fifty games to choose. You from. infringe on my three exclusives. I think Brett already did. My my three so far from what I'm seeing is probably going to be. You're gonna hate me. <laughs> Cyberpunk 2077 was the first and top of my list, and I, I can't really back down from that. It's to be expected. That's acceptable. You, you, Very acceptable. I was so looking forward to see this, and now you actually come back and give yeah. me something. So I'm just beyond insane about it. It looks the, the be- It's beautiful. It's amazing. And you surprised me. And I. Why did I've, he doubt CD so for Project the Red? Second two He's of his not top quite three. sure. It's, well, no. It's, it's, you literally he were in the shadow for five years. Yeah. That's that's a big. He thing was for concerned me to... if the game was actually going to come. Well, out. had to make The Witcher three, it, guys. Too, this is true. And Sekiro for sure. Shadows die twice is probably. That's the okay. One. I already changed my list. With Don't Nod, <laughs> it's. It, I mean, I Don't Nod from Software bringing us this game back, which is most likely going to be in the Tenshu universe. They're gods. It's there's nothing to complain about. It looks beautiful. That looks smooth. And with the combat that they've always brought us, it's going to be clean. Two phase bosses. I one see one it from. thing they yeah. did show us was a little bit. It'll happen. It seemed a little bit more uh, complex. The yeah. the combat. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's faster. From it's has always definitely been the, faster. Playing, uh, they didn't show us Dark a dodge. Souls. No, they, we didn't have. You're one kind dodge. of a lumbering, labored guy trying yeah. to swing yeah. your giant sword around. Bloodborne was a little faster. I mean, with the dodge mechanic and the yeah. quicker weapons. Yes. This this was quick. This was. And you're a ninja samurai going this is down. Straight and you got up one sword shot play. in in the trailer. You got one shot killed. My my third one that I that I really that Here's. I saw and I'm glad that you brought it back is Tales of Asperia because I'm a huge Tales of fan. Having you bring that back to me when I've been you know craving an, another like good JRPG, yeah, it's something that that I I need and I and I liked seeing that come back. Aren't you glad you got an Xbox? Not only I'm is glad I sent you a it coming back, but it is the JRPGs. first time it's officially released in the West. What I by said. the way. So that's something of note. Definitive edition. The it's definitive the edition. Yeah. 
All the DLC and it's completely remastered. It's, so gonna, it's gonna be fantastic. Everything's better in 4K. Yeah. Well, he doesn't have an X. So. Great selections, Jake. We're moving on. Brennan, what do you got? Uh, well, top of my list was Sekiro. You might as well just keep going since, with uh, Sekiro. Since keep From it. happens yeah. to be one of my favorite developers. If you not can't take top. it off. Yeah, don't no, it's already it off. off. No, no. Moving on. We already uh, know. So number one on my list, because that's gonna bump it up, is gonna be Fallout seventy six. Uh huge Bethesda fan, long time. Uh since Oblivion. Being my first game since I'm a youngster, I yep. uh, never got into the earlier ones because I was ten, but too young. <laughs> besides the one, um, it looks phenomenal. I was really worried about this game. I was really worried about the multiplayer aspects they were talking about and just trying to make it like an MMORPG instead of the what single player experience. Bethesda always gives us that right. are phenomenal, yep. mm-hmm. if not bugged out of their minds. But, you know, I like that. So. Bugs are acceptable. That's as long as the game this works, company. where all the mods come from. Yeah. I do love mods. Um, it's actually four times the size of Fallout 4. Amazing. So that is... That's huge. That That's probably the biggest game map we'll ever see, we've ever seen so far. Get lost. I don't know. The Witcher 3s was pretty big. I don't know how it compares. Witcher 3s was humongous. Um, we can do a comparison and we'll, we'll figure I believe it out. We'll find out who's bigger. king. I think it's going to be bigger. Uh, well, Fallout 4 itself wasn't wasn't small. Exactly. True. Four times any map in any game that you're thinking about, four times that is going to be crazy. That's uh, ridiculous. So, uh, so much is going to be going on in that world. Uh, and, uh, yeah, that's good. And we may hear more wait. about that later at their, at their oh, you're, conference. Oh, you're definitely. Their so conference we, is coming up next, which we'll be covering that for you guys as well. I wonder well. what that is for, like... Is that like a one by one of West Virginia? Because that would be nuts. <laughs> it could be. I think you're going to see territory similar. You're going to be going to Washington D.C. You'll probably hit West Virginia, Virginia, Washington D.C. Something of an area like that. I hope that. they don't go back to D.C. Just because that's what Fallout Three was. But it would be a different D.C. It'd true, be because hundreds, it's hundreds of years, of years earlier. earlier. Yeah, so that's true. Um, there were some crazy flying creatures we've never don't seen. Don't know before. what that is. Uh, I like don't want to fight that thing. Uh, fucking that's, scary. I'm going back Previously, in the boss. The worst thing I ever fought in the Fallout series were the bug creatures. Bugs yeah. really get me. Spiders, you. Uh, but the, <laughs> the Cazadors from Fallout New Vegas. Uh, there were tarantula hawks. Literally, that's tarantula hawks. Disgusting. So that was the worst. Yeah. This might top that. We didn't really get a close up, but not really sure what that thing was. Creature. They're gonna come running for your face. Exactly. Yeah, they are. Go back into the vault. If it's like a flying death claw, that'd be insane. I you don't it, want it that. Kind of look like it. Or there was it, another it creature that looked kind of like, like a death claw too, and I'm like, don't want that either. I get I get anxious when I play the Fallout <laughs> games because I'm just like, they're so much fun to kill, but then if you they don't kill them, you. you're yeah. like, even so max much level, time, death so much time will will destroy you. What else you got? Um, that's. Pre-order on June fifteenth. That'll be done. Absolutely. Hopefully, there's a collector's like edition. Might just buy that instead. Um, that's really as far as that goes. That's all I can say about Fallout. Uh, number two on the list, since it moved up, thanks to Brett, uh, is going to be Metro Exodus. I knew he was going to say that. Yeah. Uh, we got the in-game footage for that one. Uh, it showed us a modding and crafting system. Like on the go, which it we was watched quick. him build a gun. <laughs> it was funny that you mentioned that because we were watching and we were like, I wonder if there's modding. And then he modded 15 things. And in it was like, second, yep, there's was... modding. <laughs> there is, in fact, modding, yes. <laughs> they had things like night vision goggles, yeah. gas masks for gaseous areas. I that guess. was actually a big part of their uh, their presentation was yeah, all definitely. The, the vision things stuff you that can they do. put yeah. in there. Uh, that was one level they showed us, the massive amount of content. Um, was so that, much was happening in that level. And so many landscapes, too. Which it was crazy. You were At one point, you're attacked by the fish beast, so you're yeah. on some kind of water, and, and then there's th- so many other That was only like a, a flash, too. It yeah. was just a flash. Like, about, like, yeah. two and seconds you were worth of fish beasts. with like, <laughs> spider canoe. creatures. Yeah. And, yeah. Then, so, and they look then terrifying. Then you were on a ship fighting some and mad that's, preacher. Yeah. That's so, one I mean, level. It's going to be crazy. It looks a game awesome. of that size. Yeah, it looks amazing. Uh, well, it's Russia, and that's it's February twenty second. February twenty second. So it's coming same very day. fast. Same day as Anthem, guys. I'll oh, is that both. game coming out? Yeah, it might Anthem. Be. It might be. I'm surprised it wasn't on your top three list. There, <laughs> you just stuck it <laughs> in there. It. Oh, guys, Anthem. By the way, is coming out February twenty second, two thousand. See, you guys didn't realize Anthem is coming out. I hope you guys don't mind. So, what was uh, game number three, squad. Brennan? Well, the last one on the list uh, was difficult for me for T to choose one at this point because. At this point, they're all. I'm hyped for all of them. Fifty games. Um, but because you didn't know, I'm gonna go with Ori and the oh, Will of the Wisps. The Will of the Wisps. Um, never played the first. 
I watched some videos on it. It looked very good. It looked very emotional and sad. This it game does. seems to have a more cheerful note to it. Yeah. Well, minus the maybe. ending shot. Where yeah, was, like, I was going to say that wasn't very was burning, happy. But uh, beautiful landscapes. I'm not a huge platform. So beautiful. So for a platform to grip me like that, it's a big deal. That says something. Uh, there's combat systems, which I, yeah. I like that. It uh, kind of reminded me, the clips that we saw kind of reminded me of Never Alone. Did you ever play that? Never played that. No. Nope. Didn't play uh, that one. Oh, Jake? It's beautiful. Never, Never Alone. Alone? The little That's a, we asked Jake one. because he's the girly one of us. Uh, oh, he's Never he's Alone. Me. Well, you're a girl. The Arctic Fox. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I remember the that Arctic one. Fox. That was a. I'm not. I am horrible at platformers, but that particular game has such an awesome story. For that. Yeah. And it kind of kind of had a similar feeling to it from what I saw versus what I played. And I mean, just kind of. Kind of tied with that with Kingdom of Hearts, but I'll, I'll let someone else take Kingdom it. Kingdom of Hearts? Kingdom of Hearts? Kingdom Hearts 3. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, everyone. Kick me out right now. He's out. Get him out of here. All right, thanks. That was a pretty good list that you stole directly from me. And uh, same here. Kaylee, what do you got? Eyes. What's your three? Um, of course, I am super, super pumped for Fallout 76. I played so many hours of, of Fallout. I still even I haven't even finished because I just get too wound up in doing side quests and being busy being a responsible adult she should play fallout in vegas right guys <gasps> but yes. that one that one definitely tops the my list for, for games game that i'm excited date. for hopefully 76 um, is better hopefully let's see i was also very excited for um dying light 2 i didn't play dying light 1 but that just looks so freaking cool yeah the list. choices the is great the parkour game, looks well. very I might smooth struggle with that because i suck it i don't think that you it's it. very easy it's intuitive. Yeah. It's, it's very intuitive because do I'm not a... think assassin's creed when you're playing this game <laughs> no, no, no right. it's the... much faster nothing paced. made me rage like assassin's creed i'm at the top and, and i jumped off fantastic i'm the kind of player that if there's a thing to fall off of i will fall off of it that's that's my job that's how I do. Yeah. So I'm pretty, it still looks, looks cool enough that I would be very interested in playing that one. Right. As long as you land on cars, there's no fall damage too. So. Oh, yeah. well, that's cool. Yeah, Which actually, in the gameplay, sense, I guess. In the gameplay, well, you kind of no. landed yeah, on the sarcasm. edge of a truck. Which should have broken both hands, but. Well, I mean, you know, in, he's stronger. In the first one, <laughs> a good you, grip. Superpower hands. You jumped yeah. off like a, a, like roof. a radio tower, like one of the. Like two thousand, like feet a radio in the air. tower. Yeah, and lined down a car, and you just kind of walked away. It's okay. <laughs> yeah, it's a good car. car. Was soft, a soft top. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this is a convertible soft top. But yeah, definitely great games. And yeah, so I'm excited third to play one, that one. I'm having a hard time deciding because there were so many of them that they showed. Um, you know, like fifty. Yeah, hmm. almost somewhere around there. Almost like fifty. Um, I mean, Kingdom Kingdom Hearts obviously looks amazing, years. and that's really exciting. Yeah. And I know a lot of people have been waiting, waiting, and waiting, and waiting for for the next Kingdom Hearts. To be so released. long. Kevin. And it came out on Microsoft and Jake. stage. Yeah. A lot and of people didn't. Yeah, that was surprising. Think it was going to release. You gotta, that was. It's that was it huge. Has to be on your that's huge. Top excitement list just because it came that was out on yes. Microsoft. 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 That's, that's a yeah. huge get. Huge game. So and I and I'm gonna be the odd one out here. The Tomb Raider game looked really cool. Yeah, is that um, your number three? Um, it's a tie between Tomb Raider and Kingdom Hearts. I can't really choose between the two of them. I should be excited about the the Jump Force, but I didn't get to see enough of it to make sure that there it's was, not well, it gonna be play, totally so. totally terrible. But uh, yeah, Tomb Raider, a great games. I beat the first one, powered through it, but it gives me really bad uh, nausea and motion sickness, which is weird because no other game has ever. It's got to be the camera me. movement. It's got to be the. Camera has to be. Movement. But there's games like that that just don't do it. I don't like know. Like Dishonored. Dishonored didn't bother you. Yeah, not at yeah, all. But Dishonored was less vivid just, and graphically. It just looks so as well. more steampunk. It looks so. I wonder what it is. Cool yeah. That like, I kind of really want to play it. It looks like I'm like, why did you remove the, the knife, Lara? Why did you do that? <laughs> Trinity can't have it. Yeah. I must have it. Trinity's oh, you're done fucked up. Yeah. Time for the stuff. cleansing. Just so the cleansing is happening. She got the full cleansing. Whatever that she is. did. Because well, yep. she got water. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you got it. Uh, yeah, so it's my turn now. How do you choose three games out of 50? It's nearly impossible. Well, we all just did it, so go ahead. So uh, we went around the table, and we all pretty much chose the same exact games. So, uh, yeah, number one for me is most likely... Devil, Devil May Cry 5, that game looks fantastic. What we saw from the combat looks visceral, and I just really can't wait to get my hands on it. And if you didn't 
get to see it yet, you really need to go check it out because it is very, very beautiful. A uh, huge step up for Capcom. Uh, number two for me is Metro Exodus as well. Uh, I was I saw that game last year and I said there's no way that engine fifty games there's no way that was a no no because I saw it premiered last year and I said there's no way this game is running on these systems because it just looks too good Mm -hmm. and they showed us a mission and it looks even better this year than it did last year I really it was captured in game and with the mods the mods are uh, something that that was pulls insane. me into was, a game. So he did it. So he built a gun. I don't know if it's going to be that built fast. Built it immediately. I don't know. Just click, click, click. Oh, there's a whole gun in my hand. We don't know. We'll know more soon. And the third one for me is, in fact, the Division Two. The Division, oh, the original one. I forgot about that too. I got lost in New York City, and I just had a blast with the original sad, Division. Given the size of that map, I want to go. It was a huge map. It was a decent sized map. It was fantastic, and running it in and out of the right. apartments and stuff like that was awesome. We had and we had so much fun playing that game together. We did, that, yeah. That was when that was an amazing game. Games that we were actually able to sit and play together, and that one was one of them. And Brian and I yelled at each other. Yeah, we, we yelled at each other. We yelled at each other. We yelled at each other. We can't do it. We, we had we played we had so blast. many hours of of that together. We like games well. I'm just excited that this one's taking I love games that are... And it's not going to be frigging winter because I can't... I'm so tired of looking at winter. And they they showed you... Six months later, they said that, and then they showed you lush gardens and Mm -hmm. water and sunlight. Hopefully, Um, the balance is better between guns and PvP and PvE. This will be Um, a true sequel. Combat was always... Super good in division. Yeah. I, I'm glad it looks pretty much the same. The skills are changing up a little bit, so right. that's yes, nice. I want to of see course, they're skills. bringing us yeah. forward a little bit, but yeah. Well, uh, there are some games that release content and they have nothing involved. So I'm uh, I'm interested in all the monuments Starts for the, the D because it's Washington is DC. You know, there, there's yeah. so many places and areas that there's going to be cool stuff going on. Yeah, like they showed us in the trailer. Air, Air Force One or something yep. like that, where it well, there's and you started balls. off in a jungle and we're yeah, like, yeah, where are they? Yeah. That's that, right? And then it turned out that they were in the botanical garden. Right. Yeah. Which so, I was like, so there's a lot I of They do a really there. good job. <laughs> Ubisoft does a fantastic job of recapturing the location. They did an incredible job capturing New York City. I'm surprised they didn't save that for their own stage. Uh, I'm it'll sure be we'll there. They'll probably see more well, yeah. of it. It'll we'll definitely be there. The well, they've also been, free, yeah. they said so. they're going to be talking about it for the next two days after yeah. everything's going on. Yeah, so uh, a lot more to come from for the division. Tuesday and Wednesday for the division, too. So, um, Honorable mention for me is uh, CD Projekt Red taking over the show. And that was honorable mention? such, yeah, because the mention it is. <laughs> it's, to me, there's I don't know if that's I want stronger play, than Kingdom Hearts because I really did not see Kingdom Hearts coming. Get out of this house! <laughs> Get out of your own like, house. We, Get out of your house. Kevin. We expected we have a group Cyberpunk. Yeah. We do. To I mean, be on the that. Microsoft stage. Yeah, me. Everybody, nobody. We all discussed we all, all predicted Nobody that. predicted out of the Kingdom Hearts it. being no. at the no Microsoft one. stage. Well, also the way they did it. They really, they shut down the, they shut down the show. They closed yeah. the show. They, they did. glitched his voice. They yeah, glitched they, him out they, and they just took over the show. Really that was, it was yeah. fantastic. It was so I was like, what is he stuttering? Oh, no, no, that's not a stutter. <laughs> so the, that's our coverage of the Microsoft press conference. And what do we give Microsoft for a grade? A plus. I give them A plus. A plus. They okay. brought it. They, we they, said that they, they needed to bring exclusives. it. They gave us 18 exclusives. That's, wish, that was our 50 biggest games. I just wish they could have 50 spent games. a little time on premieres. some of the other games, too. I know they didn't have they, the time to do the whole thing, but like... They fit Literally, a lot. Some, some, some of the, some of the, hit that shit. Some they of the 50 fit games. 50 games in I two hours. I couldn't even tell what the titles were because they flashed yeah. by so quickly. They did, a lot they of did. them were Game Pass indie games. As right. Well. Yeah. With and the, like, you can, yeah, you'll be able to find out more information on all the games too. So mm-hmm. uh, that's our coverage of Microsoft's press conference. Up next is going to be our Bethesda coverage, which is going to be later this evening. So check back. We'll be posting it on YouTube in the playlist, special event coverage. So we look forward to seeing you for the next one. And that's it for now. Thanks Bye. For
See you next time.